this? This is incredible. Beauty. If you're still using that encabulator that got you through Electrocurlio Dynamics 101, this is the device to upgrade to. The device uses every possible engineering innovations at the same time. Its legacy, the most convergent steering hybrid in the industry, is still relevant today. Here at Keysight Technologies, thanks to synergistic efforts between global enterprise research teams, work has been proceeding to perfect the crudely conceived idea of a measurement tool chain that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of intimatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. This instrument is the infractionally concentric electro-turbo encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modal interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had an acquisition signal path of pre-famulated amulite surrounded by malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving resonators were in direct line with the parametric phase noise depositor. To avoid the typical retrogression of the analog rhythmic graticules, six hydrocoptic marzal veins were fitted to the ambifacient electro wane shaft. Much to our delight, this effectively quelched the resonant side fumbling. The main winding was of the analog style Lotus O Delta orientation, placed in the panendermic semi bolloid slots of the stator with alternating ectocapacitive and inductuous conductors connected to a reverse biasing cathode follower. This connects to the differential amplicator coil on the up end of the molecular angstrometer. The electro turbo encabulator has now reached a high level of development and it's been successfully used in the operation of quantized entanglement realizers. Moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce cosinusoidal replenition. Goniometric data curves are supplied upon request, but you should be cautious of the quasi-static regeneration oscillator vibraphonics. Although you may be tempted, do not use caged electrolytic resistors or sequential transpositioners, or the molecular wiring path will be compromised throughout the stack. The Electro Turbo Encabulator will be made available for sale on April 1st with a pricing on a if you have to ask basis per electron. We shipped some prototypes to experts for them to review. Here's what they thought. Hi, welcome to the Signal Path. With the release of the new Keysight Turbo Encabulator, I have been lucky to receive a prototype which I've done a quick teardown over here. The device uses every possible engineering innovations at the same time. In fact, it uses anti-graviton board-to-board interface connector that reduces the phase jiggle to zero. And at the same time, the efficiency of the system is through the roof, 1000 newtons, even with energy harvesting, which happens purely in the X-ray band. You don't have to worry about any photonic emissions because all the phase inversion that happens at the surface of the board eliminates all the need for that. At the same time, we have a reverse osmotic biomatter, which is embedded into the board. This causes the phase emission from the surface of the integrated circuits to go through the biomatter rather than around it. This is incredible. Hello there, I am Zach Friedman from Void Star Lab on YouTube, and the other day Keysight sent me one of their brand new Electro Turbo Encabulators. I'm going to be honest, I was a little skeptical. The Quantum Entanglement Realizer is like the soldering iron of multi bolloid metroscopy, but it's not like bolting a reciprocating dingle arm onto the skewostrobic planisher is going to like negate the friggin' Slivovich conjecture. What I had forgotten was the metapolystable variostrictors, specifically just how many hours I wasted each and every project repolarizing graticules to unit over and over again. Luckily, Keysight's engineers did not forget. All I have to do is hit auto striinate and wham bam, I'm more machine than man. All 13 arc tangential pistonoids are completely degaussed. If you're still using that encabulator that got you through Electrocurlio Dynamics 101, this is the device to upgrade to. Well, I honestly was a bit skeptical at first, but once I took a look at the polyphasic quasi-stable nature of this turbo encapsulator, <laughs> what more could I want? It's well known that the Hewlett-Packard company was a pioneer in the encabulator field.
Its legacy, the most convergent steering hybrid in the industry, is still relevant today. The 7S principle, the self-similar slanted sawtooth slope signal source, has been virtually unchanged throughout its 30-year life cycle. Keysight's brand new Electro Turbo encabulator, however, is facing some new challenges, like the obsolescence of a certain wide input low propagation delay transpositioner, or the European restriction of hydrocoptic marzal veins directive. I'm looking forward to finding out how Keysight engineers have solved these problems in the latest iteration of a classic, the Turbo Electro encabulator. Hello, I'm Dr. Clive of the Teleshag Supercomputer Corporation. You've probably seen our Teleshag 86001 supercomputer at your local shopping mall or perhaps at a fairground where they are commonly used to provide accurate handwriting analysis and precision horoscopes. When I heard that Keyside had developed the new Electro Turbo Encabulator, I knew I had to try one immediately to see how it affected the accuracy of our supercomputers. The effects were staggering, literally a 1,000-fold increase in horoscope processing accuracy. Whereas the Teleshag 86001 supercomputer can provide useful facts like a tall, dark and handsome stranger come into your life, the new enhanced Teleshag 86002 with Electro Turbo Encabulator technology can not only tell you that the tall, dark and handsome stranger is about to come into your life, but can also give you their age, their, their gender, genetic traits, the precise time and location of their arrival, and if they have any open arrest warrants. So let's have a look at it. They've got a sneak peek website. So let's check out the specs of this bad boy. This instrument is the infractionally concentric electro turbo encounter. They had to make it infractionally. Why? I, don't, I just don't get it. Why not make it fractionally concentric? Then it's modular. It'd be much more usable. Uh, they just, no, they've, uh, they've goofed at the first hurdle. This is, it, it'd better get better than this. Now, here's where we get into the good stuff. The undeniable Marzelvane improvements. This is what we've wanted to see. Six. They said six hydrocoptic Marzelvanes. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's clearly seven. Geez, somebody's going to lose their job over that one. And you can tell marketing have got to this. Up end it's of just the too much hand waving. No, come on. Whoever's shooting it. No, come on. Give me a break. Goniometric data curves are supplied upon request. Is it, you probably have to sign an NDA for this as well. Un oh. But I can tell you something that the goniometric data curves, they're going to look something like this. But I would expect an expanded uh, ZY envelope around here. So I expect it to come out a little bit further. The Electro Turbo and Cable made available in April with uh, pricing if you have to ask basis per, ele per electron. They're going to do it per electron. Of course they are, because the market doesn't fight back against this sort of stuff. I don't know, can you be competitive in the uh, turbo encabulator market? Remains to be seen. I've always wanted a turbo encabulator, so hopefully they'll send me one. Daniel, please, um, you know my address. We saw the introduction of a genius encabulator that goes far beyond imagination. Here in Switzerland, we only invented self-winding watches. They unfortunately do not generate lots of energy. In contradiction to this main winding with the analog style Lotus O-Delta orientation presented before. An exquisite solution to the problem also Einstein would have loved to solve. Unfortunately, his ideas stopped at the much simpler relativity theory. We just hope my wife will not object against me fumbling the squelched and resonant side. That would kill the whole idea. Bravo, Daniel, for your very understandable explanation of a pretty complex device. Now it should be clear also for a layperson. Bye. Do you even realize how long the astrochemical scientists have been trying to utilize the modial magnetodirectants to converge an electro turbo encabulator with minimal panametric side fumbling? And yet these Keyside people replenetrated the encabulator without having to sacrifice the dingle arm. Just phenomenal.
For more details, education, and your chance to win one of these, go to the Keysight University Live event page using the link below. It's happening right now. Some of today's winners are here. I'll see you over there.